many students drop an iit seat for this college yes you heard that right for bits pilani bits goa this college is one of the best and the finest college in the private sector yes the fees are little bit high but it offers really world class facilities amazing crowd super duper amazing clubs fests hostel facilities faculties in fact the faculties take pride in the fact that they don't mandate the attendance rather they make their classes so interesting that the students either feel compelled or feel very much interested to attend their lectures so apart from that you can also get two degrees apart from your main degree and uh, there are so many other amazing facts about bits which we can just go on and on and on but the most important thing is that you need to crack bits at to get into this college and there is no other way and you can expect placements up to 1 cr and the average placements in bits is well over 20 lakhs per annum so i hope this has motivated you enough to at least you know take this exam seriously i'm pretty sure you would have registered by now i'll give you every single detail of the strategy for all the kinds of students whether you are uh, probably scoring well in your mock tests and done with the syllabus or you have not done much of your syllabus so we are going to give you a proper detailed strategy so let's begin and quickly smash that like button if you want more such videos and also subscribe to the vedantu j english channel hope you have done that yep very good thank you for liking this video and subscribing to the vedantu j english channel starting off with there are two sessions like you have May, uh, mains in april and mains in january same way so the session 1 is may and the session 2 is in june so let's focus on may attempt first now there are three categories of students category a category b and category c these are our categories based on our analysis over the past couple of years so if you have done most of the syllabus if you have got a decent percentile in j mains then you fall in category a if your syllabus is maybe 50 60% done percentiles may be decent you have qualified mains or just qualified mains okay then you come in our category b if you have not qualified mains or you have not done much of your syllabus still lot of things are there you feel like you can improve then you come in category c don't think if you are in category b or a oh bits that will be a cake walk no it is not that simple because there are extra subjects the timing is different strategy is different so lot of uh, you know pattern changes are there so obviously you cannot have the same strategy for a b and c students and let me know quickly in the comments which category broadly you fall under a b or c okay so let's talk about category a students uh, most of your syllabus is done and you are scoring decently well in the mock test but that will not guarantee you a seat in bits pilani computer science or bits goa computer science or the top branches uh, of your choice so you need to secure a good percentile good marks i will tell you the cutoffs in a bit but you know you have to definitely practice all the high weightage topics and the mistake prone chapters okay wherever you are making mistakes mistake prone chapters does not mean there is a common list sir give me a list no see when you do the test analysis you will understand for yourself which chapters you are always making a mistake and it will be different for everyone okay especially when you are scoring really well uh, you need to analyze even one one question even if one type of model of question or one concept you have done a mistake twice that means it should be a red alert also you have to brush up your paper solving skills and you have to maintain a very very good speed throughout this exam so that you can solve all the questions in fact try to attempt bonus questions as well see uh, you should target easily about 320 330 marks so that you are for sure going to get a good good branch in the best uh, you know bits campus now speed matters a lot in bits examination because you will see the number of questions are too many and the time is very limited plus the questions are not very very easy don't think oh the questions are uh, more in number so level will go down no it's nothing like that okay so i'll give you the strategy in a bit but that is what you will have to focus on full length mock test series and test analysis and maintaining the error book is what you should guys do see don't sit and again watch one shots again detail classes now is not the time so if there is a chapter or two remaining yes you can complete that syllabus now is still the time you can complete one or two chapters but don't waste too much time on completion of chapters because there is no weightage order or priority order in bits they can ask questions randomly from anywhere so you cannot say oh 
maybe in mains they ask this more maybe in bits also they will ask this more there is nothing no correlation like that and full length test series is what is the most essential recipe for scoring really high even if you have scored really well in JE mains keep that in mind if you talk about category b students where your syllabus is half done well uh, you can first of all try and do all the important chapters if you have not yet done watch some one shots still there is some time for the next few days you can do that and for the second phase which will occur in uh, june for that it will be definitely helpful for you so understand you will have to do some basic chapters for sure if you can't do the chapters at least do the concepts okay this type of question requires this formula this diagram or this chart or this reaction at least know those things okay so from 50 60 percent at least try to bring it to 65 70 percent every 5 5 percent or 10 10 percent that you add will boost up your score like anything and you will realize it so focus more on question practice rather than sitting and attending lectures focus on the particular sub concept or that sub topic and apply that in the questions that is what your focus should be and don't do many many new chapters at all and mainly concentrate on english and logical reasoning because uh, that is one thing which is there common for everyone because that section is very straightforward some questions could be tricky of course but you can easily with some practice get a hang of what questions they will ask and you can easily complete it on time and set or secure some marks in your kt so you are you know in your head little bit secure and you feel little bit confident during the examination don't keep english and logical reasoning for the end okay now obviously again try to maintain an error book and give those full syllabus mock tests if you are not yet confident you can start it after three four days but give it at least give some four to five mock tests full length so that you know which section to attend when and which topic you need to brush up on and when you maintain that error book you will understand quickly which topics have to be quickly brushed if you are in category c i would suggest give the first session as a mock test get a hang of it and prepare seriously for the second attempt in june there is no point feeling disappointed oh my marks are bad see your marks were bad because the preparation was not up to the mark so you don't have to feel bad about it you just have to work upon it so give it like a mock test and start watching the old classes which we have on the channel make your concepts strong make your you know theory uh, very strong and uh, try to remember all the reactions uh, mechanisms formulas applications concepts whatever is their definitions which will be useful for your bit set and then you can uh, start giving those part tests and then full syllabus tests so that by june you are thorough don't think that every student cracks it in the first attempt many students actually end up preparing for j advance and their preparation for bit side goes for a toss uh, although you might clear j advance there is no guarantee you will create uh, clear bit set okay there are two different examinations so a uh, lot of students actually uh, you know prepare after advance properly for bit set and there is a good chance you can still clear it in the second attempt okay having said that what about the cutoffs and the safe scores you will get a fair idea from this let's talk about the top branches like in pilani computer science 327 that's why i said 320 330 that is the score that you should target then if you talk about electronics it's 314 and no other branch comes in that 300 range apart from mathematics and computing which is at 318 uh, obviously year over year the cutoffs go slightly higher but don't expect too many changes uh, more or less it will be the same small changes can be expected well uh, lower branches like civil and chemical go to 247 238 out of 390 we are talking about and if you talk about the goa campus well the computer science at 301 and then you can see the mathematics and computing at 295 okay uh, electrical and electronics at 278 so about 300 is what you should target if you want to get into goa goa campus is also amazing and don't think goa is um, second campus to pilani uh, i should get only in pilani nothing like that now uh, there was a time when that used to happen but now both the campuses are equally good both the placements have equal uh, like really really good uh, packages so don't have to worry about it the lower branches go in 230s to 250s range but that is uh, something which you need to uh, 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 weigh upon whether you want a lower branch in bits versus a top branch in a private college another than bits 
okay i would suggest if you are getting bits go for it the bit stack holds a lot of value and even if you get chemical or mechanical you can always choose a second degree minor degree uh, and then you can sit for placements via that minor degree in those software companies or electronics company so that is one cool advantage which you have in bits okay hyderabad campus these are the cutoffs you can see mathematics computing again on the higher side 293 okay you can see computer science again close to 298 so it's not like hyderabad is far behind it's almost reaching as much scores as bits goa campus so if you talk about category a students or b students or c students what should be the uh, target and the timing strategy if you are aiming for 340 plus then basically you are going to surely secure a seat in computer science pilani you should solve every question in one minute 30 seconds keep that in mind if you are targeting 300 plus that means for sure you will get bits goa and some decent branches in bits pilani okay bits goa you will get computer science okay then uh, even in hyderabad you will get decent branches and top branches your timing will be 1 minute 50 seconds so just 20 seconds makes such big of a difference one question 20 seconds makes a big difference whether you get pilani computer science or you get goa computer science if you go to 270 plus then you can take two minutes 10 seconds more you are giving per question your branch immediately drops down you will get decent or uh, okay branches in pilani and goa and hyderabad you will not get computer science or mathematics and computing and if you go below 270 that's 220 230 240 marks those are the lowest cutoffs very rarely it will go to that level usually those students end up dropping to some other college but let's say in the worst case two minutes 30 seconds so two minutes 30 seconds is your ultimate deadline and the best one will be one minute 30 seconds on an average okay so accordingly now you know which zone you are targeting and what speed you have to maintain if you are wasting even 10 seconds you know immediately your branches are going to drop down having said that if you are in category a how you should attempt the paper start with english and logical reasoning give 15 to 18 minutes that will immediately boost your confidence and score then go to subjects either start with physics and chemistry because they are usually much better than mathematics and then go to the difficult part and also in physics and chemistry expect some difficult questions you can leave it for review later and attempt it in the round two don't have to attempt everything in physics or chemistry you can solve maths and then again come back to the leftover questions in physics chemistry the last uh, 20 30 minutes i would say if you have left out some questions in uh, round one the round two can be completed in the last 30 minutes or some questions you want to recheck you are, you feel they were difficult very very difficult but still you want to attempt you can do that in the last 20 to 30 minutes okay if you attempt 130 questions confidently you uh, you can attempt the bonus questions but be careful in in the hurry of attempting 130 questions you might lose out a lot of marks you might make a lot of mistakes so avoid that so it's not mandatory that you have to attempt the bonus questions but if you do that uh, you are really in the top 0.01 percent i would say uh, in the country but yeah that is something which is there for the top cherry on the cake i would say all right if your category b then you have to maximize your score in some strong zones in where your strengths lie and you have to leave out the weak topics because if you waste time in the weak topics they will take away significant chunk of your time well do not try to attempt the bonus questions if you are in category b start with english and reasoning take 15 to 20 minutes maximum go to your strongest subject not necessarily the one which is easiest whichever is strong if maths is strong start with maths but make sure you finish that section in time because that is your favorite or strongest subject don't keep attempting even the hard questions leave the hard questions come back do the uh, remaining questions in the last 30 minutes then go to your weakest subjects after whatever your strongest subject is is that absolutely clear then talking about category c which is basically you have not done much of syllabus and you are not so uh, well to do with the tests and scores are not that great well you can give it like a mock test like i said but you have to prepare for the second attempt in june start with english reasoning you can take more than 20 minutes also then uh, just browse through all the subjects physics chemistry maths you don't have to specifically choose physics chemistry or maths whichever you feel okay 
physics questions okay let's see how many questions i can do see chemistry how many you can do see maths how many you can do definitely don't try to attempt the bonus questions just solve all the easy questions from all the subjects then go for the little bit average questions from pcm maybe who knows you might secure 230 240 marks and if you secure 230 240 marks you will feel really good about yourself at least you are definitely going to get a seat in bits maybe not the decent or top branch at least the lower branch so next attempt you will be even more confident and you know how to attempt the paper better so don't ignore this attempt is what i would say okay is that clear now if you want to give more tests as mock and you want to practice more questions i would suggest uh, check out the link which is there in the description box for bitsat 2025 we have some amazing test series it looks something like this the questions will be coming up on the computer screen or the mobile you can uh, jump to any question and you can also review it later these are all bitsat pattern same difficulty level questions after that you will get a proper analysis you will see your weak points automatically uh, the questions are tagged with the topics so immediately you will know where is the class performing better where are you lacking which topics you are making mistakes okay some questions you are attempting wrong or leaving those questions that proper analysis you will get subject wise and topic wise and uh, you can also compare your performance with other students average student topper student class wise uh, sorry subject wise everything all that is possible and you can also check out the solutions how much time you took in every question was it correct was it incorrect that will give a fair idea of whether you are following our timing strategy or not so that link for the test series is there in the description box of this particular video so whichever video you watch all right you will see the description box will definitely have the test series link over here like this bit series bit side test series okay 2025 is there for just 450 rupees per month click on buy full course and you will get all the 10 mock tests which will help you for the bitsat 2025 exam i hope you found this video useful please smash the like button and share it with your friends classmates batchmates everyone so that day two you know uh plan accordingly or else it will it will be bad if your friends can't make it right uh, so always a video can change your life it can change your branch it can change your college who knows this video might exactly do the same if you have any more questions please drop it in the comments i will definitely try and answer it and do not forget to like this video thank you so much bye bye captain Shreyas, signing off